So here's the problem when you're using canvas and a particle effect together. So um, for example, let's take a normal canvas, uh, set the scale to uh, 1920 and 1080, match it with 0.5. And we add a particle effect under effect, particle effect system. And we see this particle effect system here. Um, we can make it a little bit bigger. But even that, you can directly see in the game window, it's not appearing. You can do whatever you want. Uh, one solution is to set it to uh, world space, but then you have to set the camera always in the correct angle so that you can see the canvas. So what's the solution? The solution is the package I uploaded to the Unity Asset Store. So let's get rid of the old particle system because the old particle system is very good for particle systems in the world space. But if you want to have a particle system in the UI, uh, you just download this package. Um, here's an example scene, which you can start. Um, here's a script. Uh, you don't need to care about uh, some sprites that come with a complete uh, asset pack and some prefabs. Um, the best thing to start is to just grab a prefab and put it on the UI. Um, maybe we position it on 0, 0, 0 and then we play. Just to see what happens. And as you can see, it already starts. So what basically does is it generates a few uh, particles and these particles are basically images and these images will be uh, modified during its lifetime. So, and you see a pooling is done here. So the particles are reused. There is no destroy or uh, create during the one time and they are exchanged. So for example, we take this particle and you see it's always um, resetted back to its initial position. So what can this particle effect system do? It's very rudimentary. Um, maybe I will upgrade it in the future. So at first you can choose a particle. We have um, five particles and four particles that come with the package. Um, we can use the star as well and see what happens then. So and the star effect is playing. Um, we can turn off the looping to have a burst effect. You see here, it's played five seconds and then it stops. Okay, let's turn the looping back on. The duration, we can set it to one, just to see um, that it's working as well. It's one second and then it's over. Okay, um, the lifetime is the lifetime of the particle. We can increase this. Um, the lifetime And the emission will determine how many particles are instantiated directly after the start. And you see um, the lifetime is much longer. We can set the lifetime to 0 0.5 to see that the lifetime is shorter. Okay, we will set it to 2. So um, you can um, change some values during the play mode, for example the speed. Let's increase it to 60 and you see it's like shooting stars to the moon or to one and then it's really just stars that are falling down. Um, we will stick to eight. The size can be changed, for example, 10 if you want to have really big stars or one if you want to have really small stars. Um, you can change the rotation. The rotation is the rotation within one second. So if you type in 360, uh, then the star will rotate by 360 degrees within a second. Um, you can even make it faster you know, and then it doesn't look very good. <coughs> or very slow, like 10 degrees per second. You can say if it uh, should play on a rake. If it shouldn't play on a wake, then you can use the UI particle system script. 
there is a method called play and this method is public and then you can play the particle system um, you can modify the gravity for example we make it really strong then it falls directly down um, if you set it to zero uh, these particles are not affected by the gravity <coughs> okay and uh, we can set the emissions per second so for example we double it uh, and then we have to restart because then we need uh, on initialization more images that will be created so. and here you can see much more stars uh, we have an emission, uh, emission direction we can set it for example to one zero then uh, the emission goes to the right side or minus one then it goes to the left side emission angle now it's uh, 45 degrees that's the random distribution between um, 45 degrees um, yeah respecting the emission direction and we can set it to uh, 180 and then it's uh, the emission goes to the left side or if you change the direction to the right side, if you set it to 360, the emission goes in all directions. So, um, yeah, it's fun playing a little bit around with it. And you can also change the color. So the, you see that uh, um, alpha is set here, that the stars are disappearing on the very edge. We can change the color, for example, blue, yellow, and then it looks different. We have a size over lifetime, so we can um, have very small stars at the star start and they, the size is increasing. So, and we have a speed over lifetime, so we can set the speed to near zero and then uh, the speed increases during the lifetime to have something like a star effect. Um, so with the size over lifetime it looks like flying through space um, if the color isn't purple so you can uh, create something like a star effect flying through space. Um, <clears throat> I will try to get the effect a little bit better. I think now it's like the Star Wars effect. Um, just add a UI image. <clears throat> That is completely black and fills up the whole screen. Yeah, maybe a little bit more white. And a different particle with a different size. And there you go, you have something like a space effect where you're flying through space. So uh, there are a lot of possibilities. Um, you can play around with all these values. Um, if you request new values, uh, try to find uh, this video on YouTube and comment on it or directly comment in the asset store um, to the asset pack and uh, maybe I will uh, enhance this script in the future. So thank you.